Alright guys, welcome back to Tic Tac Go. So Justin failed in the Beat the Dragon game, but he's going to play against this opponent. I should say, against this opponent in the forms of Christopher Rahama. How you doing, Chris? Very well, Ronnie. Well, Chris, are you ready to do some Tic Tac Go? Yes. Good luck to you. And here are the nine categories we'll be doing in this second game, and they're the following. We have Nursery Rhymes. We have the bonus category. If you choose that bonus category, I'll ask you a three-part question. Answer the three-part question correctly. You'll get another turn immediately. We have U.S. Geography, Abbreviations, Heads or Tails. The $10,000 question, Monopoly, Secret Category, and Harry Potter. Justin, which category would you like to start with? Abbreviations. Abbreviations. Here we go. All right, pay attention to this one. This is a long question, so here it is. I E E. Let me try it again. I E E E C S is the abbreviation for which institute in NASA? Again, I E E E C S is the abbreviation for which institute of NASA? Is it A. Informative electric. Informative electric. Ear of Central Space, B, Counter-Strike version I, E, 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 C, Institute of Entertainment, Electrical Eon Con Society, D, Institute Enterprises of Elite Engineers of Collection of Symbols, or D, or E, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineer Computer Society. Go ahead, Justin. You're going with B, Counter-Strike version I-E-E-E? -E -E? Yep. That's wrong. The answer was E, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer Computer Society, okay? So that's the wrong answer, but it's early, we shuffle. All right, Chris. Nursery rhymes. He's going with nursery rhymes. Your question on nursery rhymes. In the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse. In the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. What does the fine lady have on her toes? Again, in the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. What does the fine lady have on her toes? Is it A, slippers, B, bells, C, diamonds, or D, rings? Can you repeat that? You a few times. Okay, I'll try that again. In the nursery rhyme, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross, what does the fine lady have on her toes? Is it A, slippers, B, bells, C, diamonds, or D, rings? Is it slippers? You said slippers? You said slippers, Chris? Yes, yes. That's wrong. It's bells. Bells. B bells. Okay, we shuffle again. All right, Justin. All right. $10,000. He's going with the $10,000 question. Good luck to you, Justin. You answer this question on the $10,000 question, we'll put $10,000 in the jackpot. Here's your question. What is Ochophobia the fear of? What is Ochophobia the fear of? The number eight? You would think so. It's not the number eight. The answer is riding in vehicles. Riding in vehicles. All right, so that's uh, no box there. We shuffle again. All right, Chris. Let's try nursery rhymes again, please. You'll try nursery rhymes again? Your question on nursery rhymes. Alright, give me one. hush baby. What breaks causing the cradle to fall? Again, hush baby. What breaks causing the cradle to fall? Is it A, a bow, B, a chair, C, a rope, or D, a ladder? What 
repeat that again, you were cutting off. Hushabai baby, what breaks causing the cradle to fall? Is A, a bow, B, a chair, C, a rope, or D, a ladder? A chair? A chair is wrong. It's a bow. A bow. Oh. All right, we shuffle again. Love the hard <laughs> All right, Justin. Heads or tails? He's going with oh. heads or tails. Okay, all you have to do is tell me whether the coin that I flick is going to be... Whether the coin I flip is going to be heads or tails. Go ahead, Justin. Heads. Let's see. Nope, it's tails. It's tails. So you don't get that box, and we shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> love, gotta love that guy. You just love that guy. All right, back to you, Chris. Say so rhyme again, please, if you will. He's going to try it again with nursery rhymes. Okay, your question on nursery rhymes. Which of the following nursery rhyme characters fell off a wall? Again, which of the following nursery rhyme characters fell off a wall? Is it A, Little Jack Horner, B, Humpty Dumpty, C, Jack from Jack and Jill, or D, Little Miss Muffet? Well, in my opinion, it would be Jack and Jill, but it's got to be Humpty Dumpty. It is Humpty Dumpty. That is right. All right, we have $2,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. Hi, Justin. All right. Um, Monopoly. He's going Monopoly. Okay, your question on Monopoly. Okay. In what year did Parker Brothers Apollo... Let me read that again. Let that go by. Here it is. In what year did Parker Brothers apologize for the misspelling of Marvin Gardens? Again. In what year did Parker Brothers apologize for the misspelling of Marvin Gardens? Is it A, 2008, B, 1995, C, 1996, or D, 1935? 1995. 1995 is right. Good job. The formally apologize, they, they formally apologized to the residents of Marvin Gardens for misspelling Marvin Gardens. They spelled Marvin Gardens um, M-A-V-M-A-R-V-E-N-G-A-R-D-E-N-S. That's the real thing. That's how you really spell it. M-A-R-V-E-N-G-A-R-D-E-N-S. Not M-A-R-V-I-N. Okay? So, good to know. $4,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. It is back to you, Chris. Nursery rhyme again. Please. He loves that category. Your question on nursery rhymes. What did Little Miss Muffet sit on? Again, what did Little Miss Muffet sit on? Is it A, a muffin, B, a tuffet, C, a puffet, or D, a bucket? Again, what did, Miss, what did Little Miss Muffet sit on? Is it A, a muffin, B, a tuffet, C, a puppet, or D, a bucket? A tough fit? A tough fit is right. Good job. $6,000 is in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Justin. Secret. He's going to the secret category. Now, you answer this question in the secret category correctly. We'll double the money in the pot from $6,000 to $12,000 and you'll have that all appointed block. Here's your question. What is the only nation that shares a land border with Qatar? Again, what is the only nation that shares a land border with Qatar? Nigeria. Nigeria is wrong. It's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay, so $6,000 is still in the pot and we shuffle. Saudi Arabia. All right, Chris. Nursery rhymes for the win, please. We love that category here. But if you get this question right on nursery rhymes, Chris, it'll be tic tac doe, eight thousand dollars, and you'll be the new champion. Okay? These are fill in the blanks. This is a fill in the blank. So here it is. Okay. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. 
The sheep's in the blank. The cow's in the blank. Fill in those two blanks. Is it A, metal and corn? B, corn and hay? C, barn and meadow? Or D, fields and hay? Okay, I will repeat the whole thing again. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the blank, the cow's in the blank. Fill in those blanks. Is it A, metal and corn? B, corn and hay? C, barn and meadow? Or D, fields and hay? I can't even hear. What's all that noise in the background? I don't know. Um, is it hay? That was the answer choice. Which which uh, choice you going with? Barns and the hay. That was the answer choice. Yeah, corn and hay is wrong. Corn and hay is wrong. I said barn. I said barn actually. Oh, you said barn. You saying barn and meadow? Yeah. That's wrong anyway. Yeah, that's still wrong. It's metal and corn. Oh, yeah, metal and corn. So, uh, Justin, you've been saved and we shuffle. All right, Justin. Bonus. You're going to the bonus category. It's going to be a three-part question. You answer the three-part question correctly in the bonus category. You'll get the block in another turn, okay? All right. Here's your three-part question in the bonus category. Name three of the six robots you face off against in Mega Man on the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1987. I think that's Boris's noise. Yes, yeah, it has to be Boris. Hold on one second. Let me mute that. All right, Justin, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, here it is. Name three of the six robots you face off against in Mega Man on the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1987. I need three of the six robots you face off against in Mega Man on the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1987 for that box and extra turn. Guts. Go ahead. Guts Man. Go ahead. Guts Man. Go ahead. Man. Say again. Oh, man. Okay, say your three. Man. Say your three answers one more time. Ball man, Cotman, yeah. God's man. You got the block and the extra turn. Good job, Justin. All right, for the record, I'll read them all again. Name the three of the six robots you face off against in Mega Man on the Nintendo Entertainment System from 1987. Is Cut Man, Bomb Man, Fire Man, Guts Man, Ice Man, and Elect Man. Nicely done, Justin. 8,000 is in the pot and you get another turn. All right, where to, Justin? Heads or tails. You going with heads or tails again? Okay, again, I will flip the coin. You tell me whether it's heads or tails. Tails. Okay, here we go. It is tails. Good job, Justin. All right, we have $10,000 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, go ahead, Chris. Guess I'm going to get you from this cat. He's going heads or tails for the block. Okay, Chris, heads or tails. Tails, I hope. He's going tails. It is tails, Chris. You got the block. Thank heavens. All right. $12,000 in the pot and we shuffle. Now we got a game. Justin. Bonus. He's going with the bonus category, okay? It's going to be a three-part question. You answer this three-part question correctly, you'll get another turn immediately. Here's your question on the bonus category. Here it is. Name three of the five kids full names in Roy Dow's Chocolate, Charles and the Chocolate Factory. Again, name three of the five kids full names 
and Roy Dow's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory for that box and X return. Okay, I'm going to give you all of them here. I stumped you there. Here it is. The kids are Augustus Gloop, Verica Salt, Violet Beauregard, Mike TV, and Charlie Bucket. Those are those five kids. So uh, we have 12,000 still in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Chris. Abbreviation for the win, please. All right, you get this question right. It's going to be a two-part question in abbreviation. You get this question right in abbreviation. It'll be tic-tac-doe, $15,000, and you'll be the new champion. Here's your question on abbreviations. Okay. This computer abbreviation usually means RTF. Not my name, of course. Um, what is the abbreviation? Is it A? Rich text format, B, random task form, C, required text font, or D, resource transmission file. That's the first one. And the second one, this computer abbreviation usually means KHZ. This computer abbreviation usually means KHC. KHZ. Name this abbreviation. Is it A, Colonel High Zero, B, Black Hue Zone, C Kilohertz, or D Key Home Zone. Here's your time to think about both of them, Chris. Alright, Chris, which part you want to answer first? Chris, are you there? Yes, first one. Okay. This computer abbreviation usually means RTF. What does it stand for? Is it A, rich test, rich text format, B, random task form, C, required text font, or D, resource transmission file? Is there um, required text font? Ret required text font is wrong. The answer was rich text format. And for the second one, the, this computer abbreviation usually means KHZ. And that is kilohertz. Kilohertz. So, uh, just has been saved and we shuffle. All right, Justin. I think he said heads or tails. Is that right, Justin? Yep. All right, I'm going to flip the coin. You tell me whether it's heads or tails. Uh, tails. He's going tails. Nope, it's heads. It's heads. So that's wrong. And we shuffle it. All right, Chris. U.S. Geography for the win, I guess. Okay, and this is for $15,000 and the championship. It's a two-part question, U.S. Geography, and you'll get extra time, okay? All right. Here it is, the first one. Battle Creek is named for the two... Let me try again. Battle Creek is named for the stream where two surveyors fought two Indians in the 1820s. Where is it? Is it A, Ohio, B, Pennsylvania, C, Michigan, or D, Illinois? That's the first one. And the second one, what has been happening on... Let me read it right. What has been happening on Kil Kilua, Kilalua since 1983? I think that's how you pronounce it. What has been happening on Kilalua since 1983? Is it A... Ancient Hawaiian religious rites. B. It's been erupting. C. Annual musical, annual music festivals. Or D. The search for an alien life. Here's your time to think about both of them, Chris. All 
All right, Chris, which part you want to answer first? Let's try the first one. Okay. Battle Creek is named for the stream where two surveyors fought two Indians in the 1820s. Where is it? Is it A, Ohio, B, Pennsylvania, C, Michigan, or D, Illinois? Is it, uh, is it Ohio? Ohio is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh. The answer was Michigan. Michigan. And the second one, what has been happening on Kil Kilauea since 1983? Is it's been erupting? It's been erupt It's been erupting. It's a volcano. Okay, so we have twelve thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. Justin still in the game. All right, Justin. Uh, hold on one second. Just Team Verifrost. Okay. Uh, heads and tails. Okay, it's a two. Uh, you have to get it right two out of three times. In order to get that box, okay, Justin? So I'm going to flip the coin a maximum of three times. You have to be right two out of three times in order to get that box, okay, Justin? Okay, is it head or is it heads or tails? Tails. All right, you got it. There's tails. You have to be right one more time to get that box, okay? Heads or tails? It's tails. Last time, heads or tails? Uh, I hope it's not tails, so tails. It's heads. I'm sorry, Justin. No box for you, and we shuffle. All right, um, Chris. Okay, two-part question again. This is for $15,000 and the championship. Two-part question. Here we go. First, what southern city, let me try again. What southern city known as the, known as the Athens of the South even has its own Parthenon complete with a statue of Athena long gone from the original? Is it A, Charlotte, B, Nashville, C, New Orleans, or D, Charleston? That's the first one. And the second one, the white city at what city's 1893 World's Columbia Exposition inspired the city beautiful urban renewal movement? Is it A, Chicago, B, Brooklyn, C, St. Louis, or D, Buffalo? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Chris, which part you want to answer first? Let's give it a try. Which part you're answering first? First one, please. Okay, the first one. What southern city known as the Athens of the South even has its own Parthenon complete with a statue of Athena long gone from the original? Is it A, is it a Charlotte, B, Nashville, C, New Orleans, or D, Charleston? Charleston is wrong. I'm sorry. Charleston is wrong. The answer was Nashville on that one. And on the second one, the white city at West City's 1893 World's Columbia Exposition inspired the city beautiful urban renewal movement is Chicago, here in Chicago. Okay, so we have 12,000 in the pot still. We shuffle. Before we continue. Yes. Okay, I'll check it out in a second. Uh, go ahead, uh, Justin. Abbreviate this. You're going with abbreviations. Okay. Two-part question was $3,000, and we will give you extra time on this. Here we go. This is for the block. Here it is. First, this computer abbreviation usually means DB. Is it A, driver boat? Or I should say A, driver boot, B, database, C, double bite, 
or D data block. That's the first one. And the second one, this computer abbreviation usually means DTP. What is this what is this abbreviation? Is it A digital transmission protocol? B data type programming? C document type processing or D desktop publishing? Here's your time to think about both of them. All right, Justin, which part you want to answer first? First one. The, this computer abbreviation usually means DB. What is it? Is it A, driver boot? Database. Say it again. Database. Database is right. And for the center box, this computer abbreviation usually means DTP. What does it mean? Is it A, digital transmission protocol? B, data type programming? C, document type processing, or D, desktop publishing? Option A. Digital transmission protocol? Yes. That's wrong. It is desktop publishing. Desktop publishing. That's the wrong answer. We have 12,000 in the pot and we I shuffle. Don't gonna, I don't think we're going to have that time to do a couple more games. We'll see. Uh, uh, Chris. Two-part question. This is for $15,000 and the championship. Here's your two-part question in, ab in abbreviations. Okay. This computer abbreviation usually means AI. Okay, what is it? Is it A, artificial intelligence, B, advanced interaction, C, automated index, or D, active interface? That's the first one. And the second one, this computer abbreviation usually means IRC. Name this abbreviation. Is it A, Internet Relay Chat? B, Internet Request Code? C, Interactive Random Chat? Or D, Internet Rich Content? Here's your time to think about both of them, Chris. All right, Chris, which part you want to answer first? Let's try the second one. The second one. Okay. This computer abbreviation usually means IRC. Name it. Is it A, Internet Relay Chat? B, Internet Request Code? C, Interactive Random Chat? Or D, Internet Rich Content? Isn't it Rich Content? What's your answer? That, what was the answer? That's wrong. It's wrong. Oh. The answer was Internet Relay Chat. Internet Relay Chat. And the other one, um, this computer abbreviation usually means AI. And it means artificial intelligence. It's artificial intelligence. Justin is still in the game and we shuffle. Is that a clean the game never end. Okay, go. Go with the abbreviations again. Two-part question in that category, and we will give you the extra time on that, okay? All right. This computer abbreviation usually means DL... Let me try again. This computer abbreviation usually means DEL. What is it? Is it A, Dynamic Encryption Language, B, Delete, C, Digital European Language, or D, device exchange language. That's the first one. And the second one, this computer abbreviation usually means codec. What does that mean? Is it A, encoded code, B, computer code, C, communication decryption, or D, coder and decoder? Here's the time to think about both of them. I, uh, Justin, which part you want to answer first? The first one is delete. That's the first one. And the second one, this computer abbreviation usually means codec. Is it A, encoded code, B, computer code, C, communication decryption, or decoder decoder? Coder decoder. Thank God, that is right. Good job. 
Center box is taken care of. We have fifteen thousand dollars in the pot, and we shuffle. Yeah, ah. All right, uh, oh, no. Chris. Going with abbreviation for the block. You only got to answer one this time, Chris. I hear it is. Okay, okay. What this question is supposed to mean is this. This computer abbreviation I slash O usually means what? Is it A, insertion order, B, interchange omission, C, interactive operator, or D, input output? I slash O. This this computer abbreviation I slash O usually means what? Is it A insertion order, B interchange omission, C interactive operator, or D input output? Is it input output? That is the right answer. Good job. Thank you. We have seventeen thousand dollars in the pot. One box left. We should have a winter after. We should have a winner after this. Let's shuffle. All right, Justin, it's U.S. Geography. You have to answer the question correctly in U.S. Geography, but if you get it right in U.S. Geography, Justin, it's $19,000, and your wins will be at $136,553, okay? Here's your question on U.S. Geography. The, Appala the Appalachian Mountains go through all these states except for which one? The Appalachian Mountains go through all these states except for which one? Is it A, Pennsylvania, B, Virginia, C, Montana, or D, Maryland? Montana. You got tic tac go, Justin. Good job. Yes. We got through that game. Good job. So that's your fourth win, Justin. $19,000. And your winnings is at $136,553. And you're going to go ahead against that dragon in the next episode, okay? And uh, Chris, uh, you uh, played the game very well. You played against a tough opponent and we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? And, and we're out of time, guys. Uh, and I'm gonna end this episode because I'm actually fatiguing right now. So this is uh, Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care everybody and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Yeah, we'll do a first thing tomorrow. Here you go, Justin. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, we're not doing that. Hold on. <laughs> so I'll have to message Eric telling him he will be facing me tomorrow. Yep. But I'm definitely fatigued. I'm about to go to bed after this.